Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Mahogany Sweets. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you would like to. Also, this channel is not monetized, so if you would like to donate, you can do so at C on Cash App. At C Anise, that is capital C, I A, capital N, I S E. Thank you, I appreciate it. So, I wanted to come back and talk to you guys about Takashi69 and what we are witnessing. He is in complete meltdown mode. He's spiraling out of control. He's on some kamikaze shit. Um, what else? He's in fear. He's panicking. He's angry. He is all of the above, okay? So, like, we know when we were first introduced to, to Takashi69, um, his gimmick, the persona, the image that they had created for him was um, Agent of Chaos, right? He came out loud, um, arrogant, right? Um, a, a ghetto thug clown with his look. You look at me, you're going to see me um, letting his nuts hang, beefing with everybody. He's, he's in a gang. He's about that life and all of that. That was the gimmick and image that they sold to us. And a problem with some of these entertainers is the image and persona that they create for these stars they sometimes get convoluted in their mind and start believing that that's them you know they start believing that that's actually who they are and and stuff like that well things got real for him and he ended up going to jail well his strategy his his um strategy from his PR team which I probably would have given the same advice was to Come home, be on the same energy, the same tip, and still stay like that. And as well as to disarm his haters, I guess you can say, by owning it. Because a lot of people came to check out what he was doing because, like, such as myself, I wanted to see and know, is he about to get out and come hide under a rock? Is he going to get out, come apologize, be humble? Is he going to change what type of music he does? Or is he going to keep the same energy? And I remember on a Joe Bum podcast, they were talking and from what they were perceiving it as like, people still support this rat. The game done changed. This is done the other. And if you recall my video that I had did about Takashi, I was stating in like, no, I don't think that's the case. Whatever he initially does upon release, is going to get a lot of attention because of the things I just named. People are going to be curious to see what does he have to say. How is he about to show himself um, upon release from prison? And, of course, from a PR team, they were like, no, you're going to stay with the same image and persona that we gave you. And you're also going to disarm those who would use you being a rat against them by, I mean, who would use against you being a rat the way you're going to use it is you're going to own it and claim it. So you disarm them from that. So that's why he came out, yep, I rat, I snitch. Um, and he was owning it. Because then eventually, for most of the people, it would be like, oh, okay, well, he's he's already owning it and calling himself a rap. Screw it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's move on. What's the point of me doing? Right? So, with him coming and doing that, he tried to get right back to music. He had investors. People who had pit money into him as we know why he was locked up he supposedly signed this multi excuse me multi-million dollar deal right um so he was given an advance on that his investors they want to return on investment so they were still funding him they thought he was still the suits the execs the labels those people who don't know the culture they felt like okay this was the image that was selling you were doing well with it um so stick to that, stick with that, and own being a rat, tell your side of the story to the people, so those who aren't still riding with you, maybe you can win them back over, that's why he was trying to get an interview, like, let me get to the people, get a word out to the people, and hopefully, they will understand, they will embrace me, right, because he was doing it all for y'all, after all, you know what I'm saying, y'all are the ones who fed into it and was soaking that shit up. His rah, 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 his beefing, his shitting and disrespecting other people in the industry and all of that. He was doing it all for y'all. Y'all loved it. Y'all was soaking it up. So he figured that he could come home and y'all would continue to love it and continue to suck it up. But what ended up happening is as time went on, y'all wasn't rocking with it. 
he got them views. He did that song with Nicki Minaj. It did numbers or whatever. So that was indicative to the suits. Like, okay, yep, he still got them. He did the interview. It got views like crazy. That was an indicator to him, himself. Okay, I still got them. I'm good. Because as far as he was concerned, his success never was contingent upon his industry connections. It was always contingent upon how much of y'all loved his chaos. The chaos he was creating, the beef he was starting, him letting his nuts hang. So, um, he came home still continuing to disrespect all of them people in the industry. Um, on the same industry, um, energy or whatever. But now he's in chaos inside himself. Because guess what? Whatever you breathe out, that's what you're going to breathe in. So, he was breathing out chaos and now he's breathing in chaos his life is in chaos he is internally in chaos he is angry he is scared he is drowning and he is trying to take his mini down with him <laughs> he say um if i gotta die y'all die too so i'm here on some kimikaze stuff misery loves company so what we're seeing is just a mix of all of these things and emotions of him becoming even worse than what he was before since he's in meltdown and panic mode and angry because it's, it's not working the way that him and his team and advisors and stuff told him that it would. that And the way y'all made him believe he would still be successful and that y'all would still love him and all of that. So those execs and labels here, they gave him advance. It cost money, bread, to have that type of security detail that he had had. And he thought he was saved. And he thought the money going to still be coming in. Well, now he owed those execs and labels, okay? He's in debt. Um, as you see, we seen the video where he did not have the um, security detail. Like, well, I seen the video out where he was out and he was starting some crap and he's recording. He didn't have the security detail uh, with him on that occasion, or at least they weren't in view. So I'm thinking that it ain't as big. He can't afford as much security as he was getting before. Um, he ain't going to be able to carry that forever, and he is aware of that. Like, oh, I'm, I'm not about to be able to be successful this way. So I think that one of his forms of protection is all eyes on me. Yeah, I am going to continue to make a shit storm so that can be my protection. You get what I'm saying? Um, just like, oh crap, hold on, yeah. Let me put this phone up so I'll end up covering the mic. Sorry. I'm about to just put it on the, uh, what is this thing called? What is it called? Um, tripod. Crap, and I think I just broke it. Oh shit. Shoot. So anyway, well, I guess I'm just going to have to hold it. <laughs> so, um, what did I leave off at, y'all? Oh, yeah. So, he going starting stuff with me because, okay, I'm angry, I'm pissed off, I'm enraged now, I'm hurt, I'm in panic mode. I want to bring down as many people with, with me as I can. Um, right, I'm already known now as the rat. I'm already basically in the woods with the wolves um, with a target on my back. What the fuck can I do? He's in, he, he's just all over the place. So that is why he's doing all these lives. It's, it's like he back to his old antics just on 10. Or should I say 100 now? Um, and, and that's why. That's why. For example, the like his, his baby mother, she came out talking about she's getting threats to her life, her daughter's life and safety and stuff like that. And let me tell y'all. That better be some young, dumb, ignorant-ass kids who it ain't got no weight behind the threats that they send into that woman. But if it is grown adults and y'all are attacking this woman and her child, y'all sick in the head. And y'all need y'all blocks knocked off for real. Because you don't, you don't do shit like that. Like, that's an innocent child and that woman ain't got shit to do with what's going on with him over there. Um... And the other thing, if you're looking at it as a matter of, oh, well, if we can't get him, we're going to get who closest to him. Well, they still wouldn't be your target because he's not even close to them. And he's not even taking care of them. He's not even saying he's not even involved in his daughter and that woman's life. So, 
please tell me that y'all ain't on ignorant shit like that. And please start talking to y'all kids that they ain't on the internet. Because, first off, they can end up locked up for this shit, for harassing um, people and sending threats to people and stuff like that. Showing up at people's house and then... You get you get hurt showing up at somebody's house. You ain't got nobody playing with yourself. But please talk to y'all kids and, and explain to them not to do stuff like that. Harassing people, threatening people, disrupting people's lives and livelihoods and stuff. Like, grow up, have some class, have some tact, have some morals, some values. Like, that's messed up. But anyway, she gets on, so she's upset about that. And she's like, well, he taking care of that chick and her daughter. He protecting this and the other. Let me explain something to you. And hopefully if she see this so she'll know. He don't care about that. He don't care about nobody. This man is only trying to save his own ass. And as far as he's concerned, what we're seeing is a hopelessness. He's given up. That's why he's on just straight destruction. And um, even more chaos and turmoil. Because it's like, okay, I'm, I'm going down. I'm going to kick and scream as loud as I can. Only person who has, he is trying to save is his own. Um, that girl, he don't care about her she's she's using him and thinking it's cute like oh, okay well i get to be next to him i'm getting attention um whatever money he does still got left and got access to i'm benefiting from but he's using her number one he he's he's miserable and lonely he feel isolated and like a target he you know why people who feel isolated and like a target keep somebody next to them as a shield he don't love that girl or her child he looked at it as, I need a shield. I don't trust no guys. Um, this woman, okay, this is something I can still have access to sex. Um, as, as well as having a shield, her daughter comes with her, so fine. She can come for the rat. He's using her as a shield. If he don't care about his own damn daughter and, and those, what make you think he really care about that girl, Jade? She an idiot. He's using you as a human shield um, to not be lonely and shit like that. Because guess what? If y'all was walking down the street or in a whip and somebody got the bucking, who, who you think he about to grab to shelter him? He's not about to be covering you. He about to try and use you, pick you up to cover him. He will leave you out to dry, run, hit the corner on you, and leave you and your daughter back there. So, the, for the baby mama, don't take that person or look at it like, he love her and her child more than he love his own child. Because that ain't the case. He don't love her or her child. And... Because guess what? If he did love her, he would be staying away from her and her child to make sure he didn't endanger them. So you'd be glad. You're actually lucky. His ignorance, his selfishness, um, his chaotic, depraved nature and lifestyle, him being away from you is actually protecting you and your daughter. Stay away from him. You don't need him. It's a blessing in disguise. God's mysteries and ways we don't be knowing or understanding. But no, he, it's good that his heart isn't turned towards y'all because y'all would be in danger if it was. You wouldn't want your daughter being out with him and he holding her walking down the street and somebody get to popping. You get what I'm saying? But guess what? The dummy Jade and her daughter over here is right in the crosshairs, right in the crossfire. So, I mean, it's, it's just sad, the predicament that he um, put himself in and what we're witnessing, his... Um, meltdown and kamikaze tactic to try and nitpick and take any and everyone down as much as he can record everything to try and keep eyes on him and use that as a form of protection since he will not be able to maintain and carry on a security detail like that he should have took his ass some goodness protection and hit um puerto rico brazil cuba somewhere um salvador or something i don't know venezuela if he was smart, that's what he would have did. But no, he allowed you guys and he allowed them as ex who he owed money to and want to profit off him, make him think that he would be able to come out and get his life back the way that it was and still make money. And that's what he thought. And now he sees that that's not going to happen and he's unraveling. He see y'all ain't supporting him like that. The money ain't about to be coming in like that. And not only is the money not about to be coming in like that, I owe these execs back a whole bunch of money. What am I going to do? He pissed. He's angry. Um, and, it, it, hey, it's a sad situation. But that's what I pick up from what he's doing. That's what it looks like to me.
That boy is scared and angry and pissed. And you know what? He might be angry. At, well, I don't, I don't know why he's still angry at these other rappers and stuff. Because before he was using it as a as a gimmick for y'all. You know what I'm saying? The, the fake beef and stuff and trying to create beef. Um, but now it's just a matter of him just wanting to try and take anybody down with him. That's why he went from, yeah, I read it, but all these people read it too. Y'all, they read it too. Um, okay, well, I went to jail. I'm going down. I don't like me here. Let me try and get me caught up. Misery loves company. I want, he's miserable until more. I want everybody else to be miserable. Y'all, stop letting that man nitpick at you. For y'all entertainers or rappers or, or gangs or whoever, stop letting this dude play on y'all intelligence and emotions because y'all falling right into his hand of what he want. For y'all to continue to snitch on yourselves, trying to prove something to a rat. I wouldn't care what he was saying on social media to the masses. I ain't got nothing to prove to them or him. Be confident in who you are and who you know that you are. You ain't got nothing to prove to nobody and don't be dumb. Don't be dressing this on yourself. Don't waste your time catching a body that ain't worth it. Guess what? If I, if I was going to take somebody in life, the first thing that I'd be looking at is, would they be worth me doing a bid in prison? If they ain't worth you doing a bit in prison, being away from making your money, being away from your family, being away from your kids, don't pay them no attention. Look, look at every situation, every beef. Is this is this person worth it? Or would I be sitting in prison pissed off at myself like, why the fuck I let this idiot get me off my square? That's how y'all need to be looking at that shit. So, pay him no mind. That's what will piss him off and scare him even more. Pay him no mind. If y'all ignore him, don't give him the attention and the draw that he wants. Don't give him the satisfaction of knowing that y'all getting just as miserable and agitated as he is. Because you got people like that, that they nitpickers, right? They miserable, they petty and stuff. They try and find a person and try and disrupt their peace of mind. They try and nitpick and find what can I do to piss you off. And the smile comes on their face the minute that they see the frown is on yours. The minute they see you pissed off and agitated. Do not fall for that shit. Don't. My mom used to tell me that all the time. It took me a while before I got it. 